When installing your car seat, you're going to use lower anchors or a seat belt. Now, regarding safety, there's no real difference. It's just whichever gives you a proper install in your vehicle. Two is for quit using lower anchors and seat belts together. Unless you're allowed to, then it's fine. And every car seat will work differently in every vehicle and some are not compatible at all. So it's just important that you get a very good proper installation with your car seat. But do you see what's wrong right here? Do you see what's wrong? Latch and seat belt combined. Now, we do not want to do this, so Holly is going to talk about a couple exceptions to this rule and why you don't want to do installation with your lower anchors and your seat belt, even though a lot of people think you're doubly safe, which is incorrect. Thank you, Jamie. First off, let me just say, I made this mistake myself when I was pregnant with my first. Before I was trained as a CPST, I had no idea that this was a big no-no. If you watched my story earlier in the month where I described that I couldn't find my car seat's manual in the box because it was in the storage location on the seat that I was unaware of, I watched a bunch of YouTube videos about installing car seats. And unfortunately, I watched one about installing with lower anchors, one about seatbelt, and just assumed they were two different steps. On most car seats, that's not going to be allowed, but there are a few exceptions. One of those exceptions is the Kleckfumpf car seat. That car seat in forward facing mode specifically allows you to use the lower rigid anchors in combination with the seatbelt. And the instructions specifically tell you to do this. There are also some infant seats on the market that allow this. You will see this wording in the user manual. Here's an example from a Bugaboo Turtle Air user manual where it tells you that it is acceptable to install with both. On this seat, it is optional and not required. Okay, but why wouldn't a car seat manufacturer want us to use both? Really, there's a lot of factors at play and as consumers, we don't have full visibility of what those reasons are behind the scenes. In some cases, it could put too much pressure on a car seat in a crash. When the car seats are tested, they're tested with lower anchors and then separately with the seat belt. What we do know for sure is that they are passing tests independently when installed with lower anchors or with a vehicle belt. At the end of the day, the message is always follow the instructions in your user manual. Always read them really carefully when you're going through the install just to make sure that you don't miss anything or that you don't misinterpret something. For more expert baby and toddler safety tips, follow the Jamie Grayson and Safe Beginnings.